Hey yo, what's up? Moji here and welcome to another Monday Night Dive reaction. So today we're going to be checking out Vampire from Eyes One. And well, it's kind of hard to misconstrue the title. But it will be interesting to actually see how they exactly they will be portraying this. So without further ado, let's get right into it and check out the MV. Here we go. Ooh. Very chilling scene. Ooh, the bats. And that's an awesome looking castle. Very spiky. With the huge moon in the background. Sakura with a lollipop. Wanyang with some cats. Ooh, the cat. Oh, wow. I like this shot. Okay, the song is actually upbeat. They started with Diana in the center. Ooh. The vibe of this song is kind of interesting. It sounds quite cool loathing okay hmm Ooh. This song Ooh. It's just taking me for a ride Yeah, it's it's quite cool <laughs> That's the best word I can find right now to describe it Oh, Love the bounce in Hitomi's voice Okay, Wanyang just popping out. Oh, her stare. And Wanyang's eyes changing like that. Oh, a lot of pretty shots here. Okay, we have Nako in the dark room. Oh, that picture. I'm loving the vibe of this chorus. Yuri's nails are getting longer. This build up. Oh. It actually didn't quite go where I expected it to. Okay, there we go. Huchay one with fangs. Oh, actually, all of them have fangs. Really very groovy. It feels very magical. Very mystical. Ooh. Oh, love the handwork here. Okay. I gotta say, I really, I'm really digging the purple hair on Sakura. Anyways, 
that was Vampire from Eyes One. And one thing that uh, struck me the most about this song is it feels like uh, the opening to some anime that uh, where the protagonist is the vampire and you have like the, the, this just uh, cool relaxed person who is awesome at everything and yeah it just just gives off that that vibe and so there is one thing that i did notice about the song though and it's that the mixing on the vocals is a bit thinner than what you'd expect from most uh k-pop songs but then again this is a japanese release so uh it's more of j-pop and actually with eyes one the way they treat their japanese releases it does sound uh closer to j-pop than uh certain other japanese releases i've listened to before uh from other groups but we're not here to compare anyways uh what was i saying oh the, yeah the vocal mixing so i'm getting the feeling that this might be a controversial topic <laughs> but yeah the vocal mixing is a bit thin and i'm i actually feel like this was the correct decision for this song so please hear me out before you <laughs> uh come at me <laughs> anyways uh please remember yeah this is just my opinion this is how i felt throughout the song and yeah like the vocal mixing was thinner than what you would hear in uh compared to most other songs whether it be j-pop or k-pop but that's because the the vibe or the atmosphere that they were trying to create for this song kind of depended or actually largely depended on uh having this light uh and upbeat tone and so the vocal mixing is lightened up a bit so that it's not too thick it's not too heavy um it doesn't quite punch as much because you know when you when you get this punchy tone in the song it's like in the vocals it tends to punch downward and that's usually what you look uh for the most in in most songs that that impact right the way uh the way the song hits you and so this one kind of sacrifices a bit of that impact kind of sacrifices the vocal quality as well because the mixing doesn't sound uh as polished as it could be because i think that's what that's one reason as well um since it's a bit thinned out it doesn't feel like it was fully like fully uh rendered or fully filled out right and but what they probably did uh oh, the the i don't know that the composers or the sound engineers did is that they kind of sacrificed a bit of that vocal quality they kind of sacrificed a bit of that impact a bit of that oomph in exchange for having this uh light and airy uh vocal mix that kind of uh emphasizes the atmosphere that was being built up by the instrumentals and by the mv itself 
and it's this atmosphere that concentrates on well vampires being cool because <laughs> they were singing about wanting to be a vampire right because here's one thing this is why i mentioned in the starting as to why i was it's why i was interested in seeing how they portray this because the the most common way of portraying stuff re involving vampires would be to go you know dark broody you have this kind of heavy atmosphere a lot of uh a lot of depth a lot of impact a lot of just uh darkness that kind of feels tangible that weighs you down and that's not what this song is going for at all <laughs> So we, uh, it's kind of steering away from all of that, from from the dark, broody, uh, deep side of vampires, to more of the, you know, the the, the coolness. <laughs> I really am tr trying to find another word to describe the vibe for this song. But uh yeah this this song I feel is going more for the lighthearted tone it's concentrating on the more positive aspects it's uh they don't deny it though like there's the part that start like uh um something about loathing and then wanting to hate the vampire but they can't because they want to be like them and yeah, I don't know the full extent yet of the meaning of the lyrics. Hopefully some of you will help me out in the comment section down below. But most of what I got is that, yeah, uh, I think vampires are cool and I want to be like a vampire or I want to be a vampire. And uh, you got all this, uh, these light airy tones, not just in the instrumentals but in the vocal treatment as well so again just my opinion but i think that's what they did they kind of sacrificed some of the quality some of the impact in exchange for actually uh reinforcing and enhancing the atmosphere that they're trying to build for the song and for me that ended up going quite beautifully the MV was still really, really beautiful. Loved all the shots of the all around the house um, with the various members like uh, Won Young sneaking up on Hitomi or Unbi and was that Kewon by the window? Um, Nako in the dark room. And you got all these beautiful shots, shots that still relate to being a vampire. There's still some element of darkness, but it's not that heavy kind of darkness anymore. It's more of like the kind of darkness that that's appealing, <laughs> that you want to embrace. And yeah, and just uh also love the the choreography that uh eyes one performed especially the the handwork that they had towards the end there really really amazing looking and i feel like they they were able to pull off you know the concept for this song really well and uh they were able to steer away from what they were trying to steer away from which is like the you know the 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 truly dark side of being a vampire or like the the heavy stuff uh the broody emotional uh stuff 
that uh, usually is involved when it comes to vampiric portrayals, whether it's like a show or a music video. Yeah, and I think this this more of a fresh take on it. Uh, but it's more of an idealistic take. <laughs> Not saying that, uh, you know, being a vampire doesn't have its own problems. It does. But I think the, the point of this song is that they want to concentrate on the positive. Or they... Uh, yeah, they just want to be a vampire. They want to be vampires. So... Yeah, uh, that's the way that the song felt to me. That's the way that I understood it. Of course, there probably are some other interpretations out there. Probably some of you would have liked the vocal textures to be mixed a little bit thicker. Maybe they could have been a little bit thicker. But for me, that probably would have added... Um, a certain amount of weight to the song that might skew the atmosphere a little bit but that's just my opinion um maybe someone's created a version out there where they were able to thicken the vocal track i don't know <laughs> um if that sounds a little bit better hey uh then it does but then again Appreciation of music is kind of subjective, right? Actually, it is supposed to be a, a subjective. There are things that are common, commonly liked among people, but there are things that uh, that are different among individuals when it comes to liking music. So for me, I really, really like this. Uh, it's probably going to go onto my daily playlist. And yeah. And because I kind of had this sense of understanding about the song, uh, it was much more enjoyable for me uh, because of that. So yeah, that's probably it for my reaction to Vampire by Eyes One. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also feel free to check out my Patreon where I also post reactions to longer form content, more casual content, most of which is available for free. Particularly, uh, you might be interested in my reactions to the Produce 48 series. Uh, they should be popping up every Wednesday. As of now, uh, by the time you see this on YouTube, Episode 3 will be up on the Patreon, and Episode 4 will be coming... A couple of days from now on Wednesday. But of course, if you are tier 2 or above on the Patreon, then you have early access to my recordings, of which I have until episode 10 now. It's just a perk for those who are kind enough to subscribe to my Patreon as a, you know, as an advantage, you know, as to thank those who are, uh, who are supporting the channel in this manner uh, but like I said most of my content is available on patreon for free so don't be afraid to check it out the link is in the description down below anyways thank you so much for watching thank you so much for joining me on this cool intriguing journey with eyes one and until next time have a great day everyone and hope to see you guys in the next video Bye for now.